guys i'm back with another one i'm just gonna sit back for a moment and let this slow-mo do all the talking because i don't think it needs me to talk too much yes your girl is using lemon juice and what some days we ain't got fresh lemons some days we just gotta make what we have work I have absolutely no shame, I just don't care. But anyways, let's go into the seasonings. Added some chicken seasoning, some garlic granules, some black pepper, and some salt. Can't lie, I'm feeling like salt bay right now. But the black version. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I actually can't help myself with my horrible jokes. <laughs> now we're going to go straight into all the chopping. You're going to see a lot of chopping in this episode, so please stay tuned. Then I used two spring onions. Look at me just showing off here with all my cutting skills. Okay girl, you better chop it. Yes, hunty. <laughs> the best thing about making this soup is once you've prepped everything, you're basically done. Like the soup is basically done. You just gotta throw it all in there. Then I'm gonna go in with some ginger. I would say this is probably around about a teaspoon of ginger, freshly chopped. Um, that should do the trick, really. I think I would definitely recommend if you've got a cold, just throw some more ginger in there, and I promise you that will do the trick. I'm now just going to chop a couple of parrots up um, here you can see two but I've actually decided to throw one more in there um, as I like my chicken soup to be full with all different types of stuff so I'm going to have my carrots in there, I'm going to have my plantain, my corn on the cob, my potatoes, everything because that's how we like it around here but it's completely up to you on essentially how much you want to put in um, and what you want to put in so you can put some just regular potatoes in there you can put some yam in there um absolutely anything you want really you could even put veg in there if you wanted and you could swap out the chicken with fish um whatever you like really honestly just use this as a base and then the rest you can kind of freestyle talking of base this is my base for the chicken soup so i have chopped tomato i have water i have two chicken stock cubes i've got a maggie cube garlic onions mixed herbs um and ginger and i'm just going to give that a quick blend now i'm just going to quickly chop up a plantain and i'm also going to chop up a sweet potato as well so that's what you're going to see in this little segment here And last but not least, I'm going to just chop up some corn on the cob. I absolutely love corn on the cob in a soup. Honestly, don't knock it till you try it. It's absolutely lovely, add on bit, but it's not essential. So don't worry if you don't have any. In a pot, I've just added some olive oil with onions, spring onions, garlic, and I'm just gonna give that a little quick fry for a couple of minutes. Now I'm just going to pop all the chicken pieces that I've pre-seasoned. Um, and I'm just going to allow them to brown on both sides. Um, and I like to do this before I add the um, rest of the stuff in. I just like it to brown the chicken a little bit, just so the seasoning can stick onto the chicken um, and don't fire away. Um, so I just like to do this just to kind of like solidify it. Um, once that's done, we can then kind of proceed to add our little mixture that we made previously. I then add a cup of water into the same cup to get all of that stuff out and also just to add some more water to it um, just to build up the soup i then go in with my pumpkin some salt some pimento seeds and then i leave that to boil slash simmer for 15 minutes now it's about it's been about 15 minutes so now i'm just going to go in and put my sweet potato my carrots my plantain um, and also the corn on the cob. Look at all of those colours, guys. I'm so here for it. Oh, we forgot another one. My bad. 
as you can see i decided with my big eyes to cut up another planting but i realized actually you're doing too much so i just added a few more um and i'm just seeing if it's actually even going to fit because as you can see that looks peck up right um but again that's how we like it growing up i used to absolutely love my grand's chicken soup she makes the best chicken soup like the absolute best and i just always wanted to be able to replicate that but obviously in my own way because i knew i would never be able to top my grand's soup because her soup is just incredible uh, but yeah it's just one of those memories that i will absolutely never forget i'm so sorry grand but i absolutely do not regret hiding those extra piece of dumpling in the soup because those dumplings were absolutely amazing <laughs> So I previously made some dumplings, which I completely forgot to record. Um, but if anyone wants to know the measurements for dumplings, I will also put that in the description below. Just a side note, the soup has now been cooking for about 30 minutes. Um, and now I'm going to add all these dumplings in. You're probably thinking to yourself, Ashia, that's a lot of dumplings. How is that gonna fit in that pot? That pot is already full. How does that work? Don't worry, baby. I am gonna make it fit. It's gonna fit, yeah? Cause nobody do it better than Shia Style. And if Shia Style said it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. If we need to give it a little mix, one, two mix, to get all of those dumplings in there, it's gonna happen. Look how I just broke up the dumpling. Listen, don't worry about that. All the dumplings are gonna fit. <laughs> just to elaborate on the chicken soup dumpling memory i used to love my grand's chicken soup especially the dumplings her dumplings are unmatched and she used to always be a little bit stingy with them so your girl would go in the pot naughty me and just help myself to a few extra and then just hide it under the rest of the soup and just be smiling like i didn't do nothing and you know what if i'm really honest my love for cooking really did start at home watching my grand cook up some amazing dishes effortlessly and i just always thought to myself i want to be able to do that as well and you know even if i'm not quite there i'm getting there and i literally i'm enjoying every minute of it just in case you were wondering i added a soup mixture with water to the pot just to thicken it up and add the noodles to it this next step here is optional um, and i just like to do this sometimes um but it's just something that I do, you don't have to do it. Here we are plating it, look how gorgeous it looks. And guess what guys, nobody does it better than Shia style, alright? Bye!